If you think bike costs are crazy right now, leave your comment below. What's up YouTube, Henry Chunk Fitness here. Today we are going to discuss all of my AliExpress parts that were used to build up the Superbike, the Higgy Model S. If you've watched my bike build videos or my review, you've seen that I've built this up by myself. I've actually built this up using all AliExpress parts. Aside from the saddle, as well as the tires, which are Vittoria Rubino Pros that were given to me for free. The cassette I actually bought used as well, so that's another thing to mention. Every component, including the frame, the wheels, the drivetrain, etc. Now you might be wondering, why did I purchase them on AliExpress? Well, mostly it's because of the cost. The cost was much cheaper versus purchasing locally or online. Ultimately, you will have to wait for shipping, so that usually takes about almost a month to ship to door. However, all things considered, you're still getting a really good deal. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, let's start with the frame. The frame, as you know, the Higgy Model S. This was purchased on AliExpress from the Higgy official store. This is their Model S size 52 centimeter, which is the medium frame. The frame, fork, handlebar, headset assembly, as well as the seat post cost about $878 Canadian. The Higgy Shun wheels are the ceramic bearing version 50 millimeter wheels and these were $585 for two wheels and as mentioned the O'Neary brakes, the hybrid disc brakes, cable pull, hydraulic actuated inside. They say O'Neary BR05 on one side, Triple I Pro on the other. Quality brakes and these are the rotors that come with it. 160 in the front, 140 in the back. These came to a total of $104 Canadian. The Sensa Team Pro shifters, two of them, they came out to a total of $85 Canadian for two shifters, which is a really great price. The Shimano 105 crank set, 11 speed, 5034 tooth. This came out to a total of $160 for the crank set. This one is I believe a 165 millimeters. Initially I ordered a 170 but I swapped it out with the 165 because that seems to work better for my needs. The KMC 11 speed chain came to a total of $18 and as you can see this one is waxed. Wax chain is the best chain. Keeps it clean and also keeps it lasting long and well lubricated. The Shimano 105 short cage rear derailleur, as well as the Shimano 105 front derailleur, came out to a total of $100 Canadian for both. And the Think Rider inner tubes inside, these were $9 Canadian for two TPU tubes, the 28 gram versions, so $4.50 a piece. Now, I also got power meters a few years ago. These are the Garmin Vector 3s, the dual-sided power meter pedals. I actually got these on AliExpress, and they've been working great for the past few years. And these came to a cost of about 567 Canadian dollars. These Balugo ball cages came to about $3.70 for two cages and they weigh close to about 26 grams per piece and they're glass filled nylon and we've got Supercaz grip tape for $22.50 from AliExpress for the handlebar tape the Shimano BBR60 bottom bracket which was 26 Canadian dollars now, as you've seen, the total cost of the whole bike build, excluding the saddle and the cassette and some minor hardware like cables, cable housings, the total came out to about $2,558 Canadian for the whole bike frame components, including the power meter pedals, which were on the pricier side. And that converts to roughly about $1,915 USD. So a sub $2,000 USD bike, including a power meter, minus the saddle and cassette and some minor hardware, 
that's a pretty crazy deal for an AliExpress Superbike build. If you want to build your own Superbike from AliExpress, I guarantee you it will be challenging to build at some points, but it will be quite worth the while, especially comparing to the big brands out there. So I'm really proud of what I've been able to achieve with my bike build. It probably could keep up with some of the top tier bikes out there. Now, I'm no bike racer though, so I'm just using it for my daily commute on gravel, roads, etc., and just enjoying it recreationally as well as some light training. But otherwise, I'm really proud of what I could achieve with an AliExpress bike build, sub $2,000 USD, including power meter pedals. Let me know in the comments below if you've built your own AliExpress bike build, what the total came out to. I believe the total weight was about 17.35 pounds for this bike. Not too shabby for an AliExpress bike build with crazy prices of bike frame components, etc. these days. It's a no brainer for me to purchase an, on AliExpress. I haven't jumped onto electronic group sets yet, but that might be a thing for one day. For now, Shimano 105 mixed with Sensa shifters, it seems to be gold standard in terms of an AliExpress build. Please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below if you've built your own inexpensive bike build off AliExpress. And until next time, have a good one.